I, if I was to bet one person for sure is a time traveler, Keanu I would Reeves. say Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Why Keanu Reeves? His wife is born in 1973. She's like a zombie because she looks so old. I'm thinking this guy's sucking the life out of her. If there's a number one time traveler, it'd be him. Number two would probably be someone in the Trump family. I didn't take the vaccine. Me neither. Okay, so I didn't. I didn't. Okay, yeah, so yeah. let's go there. I don't how rich you are. Right. I don't fuck what you look like. Mm -hmm. I don't fuck if you have a million dollar body. Mm -hmm. I don't give a what you think you know. You took the vaccine. That's it. <laughs> I don't want to hear anything. You're disqualified. <laughs> so yes, I will say what I said mm -hmm. because if you took the vaccine, I don't think you're a good leader. Welcome back to the Digital Social Hour, guys. I'm your host, Sean Kelly. Here with my co-host, Wayne Lewis. What up, what up? And our guest today, Gary, the numbers guy. How we doing today? How we doing, man? <laughs> man, we're doing well, brother. The numbers. Yourself? Can't complain, man. I'm excited to hear about these numbers. Yeah, let's, let's dive into these numbers. All right, so how you guys want to do it, man? What's up with numbers, man? What what, what are numbers? What do they mean? So basically, it works like this. Know. There's energy all around us. Right. Some people can see auras. Most people can't. Right. But when you can't see energy, they have a different way of representing themselves. Mm -hmm. And one of those ways is astrology. Another way is with mm -hmm. numerology. Mm -hmm. So basically, the numbers represent the energy. Mm -hmm. Almost everyone sees 1111. 11. I'm sure you see it all the time. 1111, 337788. So basically, numbers represent energy. And that energy is basically subconsciously trying to tell us something. Most people who are NPCs, they aren't even aware of these numbers, but the people who have souls, they can catch something. The NPCs, wow. it'll always go right above them. They'll call it coincidence. You'll see that 9 11 happened. Hold on, hold on. 9 11 yeah. happened on the 11th. First plane to hit the World Trade Center is mm. quite 11. The Twin Towers look like 11 side by side. Mm. New York is the 11th state in the Union. New York City, 11 letters. Coincidence. Sure. Sure. Six. Uh, you know, when it comes down to it, people have to understand that the people in positions of power, they're using these numbers. They've been using these numbers. The point is, you don't have to believe me. All you have to do is do a little research. I know people out there are lazy and they would rather criticize me and call mm -hmm. me a fraud, scam artist. But if you actually do some research, you'll see what I'm actually talking about matters. Example, eight is the number of money. That is why the Chinese started the Olympic Games on 8-8-2008 at exactly 8.08 p.m. They went from the 15th biggest economy in the world to the second about five years. Wow. So obviously, people in positions of power are using this information. Uh, plebs can basically mm -hmm. <laughs> criticize it all they want. Yeah. What about astrology and zodiac signs? Are those all BS? No, no. The Most of the practitioners are full of like, for instance, I have a problem with astrologers, mostly women, uh, who go out there and, you know, ma offer matchmaking <clears throat> advice, and they've been divorced three times. Mm. I think that's kind of fraudulent. Obviously, uh, I checked a woman on that once. I'm like, listen, if you're going to be uh, selling matchmaking advice, maybe you should dec disclose your divorce three times. Her response was, I hate women. Mm. Interesting responses. Mm. So... Are you saying that the numbers that we see individually is the universe trying to tell us something? Correct. So if you see, let's say, for instance, he, let's say he go get some food and his receipt is 777. It's not one size fit all. Okay. It, it's uh, the same message can mean something different, different. to you okay. than it means to him. For instance, 11 is the number of emotional energy. Mm -hmm. That's why the elite always like to do things on 11 days. The big events, example, 9-11. That's why the police <clears throat> code. For emergency is nine nine one one. So again, yeah. they like to do things for um, like emotional reasons. They'll get people in there under the eleven energy. So mm -hmm. when some one sees an eleven, it might have to do with a specific type of emotion. In mm -hmm. someone else, it might mean a different emotion: jealousy, mm -hmm. love. Mm -hmm. So again, it, it it's more into people's unique situations. Does the day and time you're born have any meaning? Yes, one hundred percent. The time you're born, the place you're born. Because there's millions of people born on the same day. Mm -hmm, We're not right. all the same. You know, I, I get I get the criticism of numerology and astrology. We're not all the same. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, let's start uh, doing the variables. 
Not all born at the same place. Not all born at the same time. Sure as hell don't all have the same name. Mm -hmm. So there are energy, there are variables. And I want people to understand environment plays a role. Environment plays a role. For instance, um, a seven life path is smart. Okay. Mm -hmm. But if that seven life path is born in uh, Iran or Saudi Arabia, <laughs> he's probably going to be a Muslim. Mm -hmm. If he's born in America, he'll have mm -hmm. much more likely to be you know, Christian, if in San Francisco, much more likely to be LGBT. Mm -hmm. So environment plays a role. Right. So this is what the mistake people make. They only think with one side of their brain. Right. You got to use both. So, so, that, how, so how, how do you know what your life number is? You basically got to add up your birthday. Let's do you. What is your birthday? 313. 313. What year? 88. 313, 88. So we do the 316 is a 7. Mm -hmm. One nine eight eight is twenty six. Mm -hmm. Seven and twenty six is thirty three. So you're just like me, a thirty three life path. Mm -hmm. What that means, you have, you have influence over people. People actually listen to you and respect what the hell you're saying. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense to you? It makes sense. Wow. You, also, you also you also work a lot. You're a hard ass worker, Yo. brother. <laughs> hard ass worker. Look, 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 look at him. See, I I don't know this dude. Did you ever give me your birthday before? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. uh, not only are you a hard ass <laughs> working dude, I would say. 216 217 that's when everything switched for you mm -hmm. that's that's when that's when everything started switching you that's when you started getting in the networking mode that's when you started you building that 216 217 that's when you started working on the mouthpiece that's when it yeah. all started so coming together 2017 you're saying 216 right. 217 yeah. that's when everything should have switched for you <laughs> 215 actually but 217 was we got fords yeah wow he predicted all that he just said it bro i didn't i don't him? <laughs> I, know, I don't know who the hell you are, brother. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, you see, you seem like a good dude and everything, but bro. I don't know who the hell you wait, are. Wait, wait. Now you let's go mind? you. Bro, he doesn't bro, he doesn't know me. That's crazy. February 14th, 1997. <clears throat> 1997. Um okay, so you're born on the 14th, which means you're gonna travel quite a bit in life if you haven't already. Uh it also means that you're gonna be the type of person who a lot of people consider entertainer. Entertainer starts with E. E is the fifth letter. And you, my friend, are born on the 14th. One in four is five. Uh, another popular guy right now is John Zerka. He's born on the 23rd. Two in three is five. Uh, um, uh, uh, Sartain, another guy here in Vegas. He's born on the 5th. So mm -hmm. you see all the people have certain energies aligned to the same type of work. Mm -hmm. Running your mouth. That's exactly what you're good at. Um, when it comes down to you, you're born on the cusp of a ox and a rat. So I'm not exactly sure which one. Mm -hmm. I need to actually look it up. Um, but when it comes down to it, your total numerology number is, t -t 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 oh, you're just like his. So you, got, you guys have a lot of the same energy going on. Nice. And you guys good friends? Yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll say so, yeah. Wait, I'm a 33? It, it, you have that energy. Wow. It's fascinating. Isn't it how interesting how everything works, man? Wow. Now, and 33s, um, he's more pure. Uh, 33s are the trailblazers on Earth. Hmm. They're basically the ones who, like Albert Einstein, you know, even though people could say he stole something from Tesla. Okay, whatever. He still gets credit for it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, Thomas Edison. Mm -hmm. Electricity. Uh, Dr. Joe Naismith. I think about how many people in the world could have uh, thought of putting a ball through a hoop, but Dr. Joe Naismith, a 33 life path, pulled it off. Now it's called the NBA. Mm. Isn't it interesting how that works? That's crazy. What is Elon Musk? He's he's a uh, 28. That's a good thing you brought him up. He's born on the 28th, and 28 is the number of wealth. Remember, 8 is money, 28 is wealth. So the richest people in the world have a tendency to be born on the 28th. As a matter of fact, if you look at the 50 richest people in the world, Eight of them are born on the twenty eighth. Wow! So if you just think about the mathematical percentages of that, what about Michael uh, Jackson? Michael Jackson, uh, I believe he was a six, thirty three six. So um, thirty three. I six. think he was a good man who was set up mm -hmm. by the elite. That's my personal <coughs> opinion. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, and the reason I have that opinion is because they're still trying to make him look bad in death. Right. The guy, are. the guy, you know, they the are. dude's been gone for a long time. And they're still trying to smear his name. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, listen, if the Babylonian Brotherhood's going that far yeah. to smear someone, must be a saint. Mm -hmm. so you he believe, must have been a fucking saint. No, believe, I don't think he was. A wow. no. You believe um, in? Though. 
I mean, they don't call themselves that. That's what plebs call them. Mm. Well, they call themselves Plabellodian Brotherhood, man. Um, you know, they don't get on loom and call themselves a uh, But yeah, there are secret. You know, I'm not even sure if they're secret. If you have intelligence, if you're an idiot, yeah, then there's a secret group of people <laughs> in the world. But <laughs> if you have some intelligence, you understand that there's always been a cabal at the very top. I mean, if you if you doubt that for one second, just look at the pandemic. Okay. Whether you lived in Canada, a socialist mm-hmm. country, America, a supposed capitalist country, China, a communist country, Russia, a mob-run government. It didn't matter where the f*** you read. Mm-hmm. They shut it down. Mm-hmm. They all shut it down. Didn't matter your system of government. Didn't matter what the hell you believed in. They all shut it down. What does that tell you? That means there's a hidden hand on top telling other people what to do. Right. That is the only logical explanation. Mm-hmm. You could say I'm a conspiracy theorist. But you know what? All the stuff I was talking about, my conspiracies, mm-hmm. a decade ago, all of a sudden, they, they came true. Interesting how that works. Wow. So what about when it comes to getting in a relationship? What should you look for when it comes to numbers? Or it, do you look for numbers? Is that, I mean, of course. Do they play I, mean, I, I can talk about some things. Uh, for instance, uh, you're born in the year of the dragon. Right. Okay. Um, dragons get along best with people who are born in rat years, people who are born in monkey years. Okay, so, so if you, if you years so the rat year? years two thousand eight that's a case so it can't go there nineteen ninety six <laughs> is a good year uh, nineteen ninety two is a monkey year uh, two thousand four is a monkey year so anything to do twelve years it goes once every twelve years mm-hmm. monkey two thousand four next two sixteen back um to nineteen ninety two okay. so those are the ones that go well with dragons let me just go down the list would okay. you like me to do that yeah yeah yeah, okay. yeah. so uh, Chinese <clears throat> astrology the first sign is the rat. The rat has a triad of the dragon and the monkey. Mm. The next sign is ox. The ox has a triad of the snake and the rooster, which means those are who you do best with. Mm. The next triad is the tiger. The tiger does best with the dog. The tiger does best um, with the uh, the horse. See, brain fart on everything. Mm. But when it comes down to it, let me show how this actually works. Jeremy Lin, you ever hear of that guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Basketball player. Jeremy Lin, born 1988, the year of the dragon. Do you remember there was a year where he was the most famous basketball player? Yeah, what year was that? 2012, year of the dragon. So you see, he, a dragon, made it real good in a dragon year. Wow. Kyrie Irving hit that game winner against Steph Curry, didn't he? To yeah. win the NBA Finals. 2016 was the year of the monkey. Kyrie Irving, born 1992, the year of the monkey. So you see how energy favors people when they're actually within their own energy. Wow. Um, let's keep going. So Kobe, certainly years Kobe, are your Kobe, year. Kobe, born 1978, year of the horse, loses the NBA Finals in 2008, a horse year, dies in 2020. The horse year? Uh, no, uh, excuse me, a rat year. 2020 is a rat year. Yeah. 2008 is a rat year. Kobe's a horse. Enemy signs. So Kobe, a horse, loses the NBA Finals in a rat and dies. In a, in a rat. rat year. So he loses the NBA Finals in a rat year and, and dies, dies in a rat year. Wow. Wow. So this information is very powerful. Yeah. And if people actually take the time to do the <clears> research, <throat> then they won't be calling me a fraud. They'll mm. be calling me a teacher. So, okay. So what about when it comes to gambling? Yeah. Well, I mean, listen, uh, Vegas was founded in 1905, the year of the snake. Let's talk about the people who do best in Vegas. Who's the richest athlete who lives in Vegas? Floyd. Exactly. Floyd's born Is in 19... He? Floyd's I thought born, it was Andre Agassi. Now, Floyd's born <coughs> in 1977, year of the snake. Mm-hmm. So the snake makes him his home in the snake city. Oh. And he's worth a lot of f***ing money. Mm. He knows exactly what the f*** he's doing. What do you think? He doesn't know about this? Mm-hmm. Come on, man. Let's talk about the people who built Vegas. Mr. Wynn. He revolutionized Las Vegas in 1989 when he built the Mirage. Correct? Yeah. Mirage, 1989, Year of the Snake. Vegas founded in the Year of the Snake. So Vegas came back in 89, which was a snake year. Uh, Mr. Wynn was a snake. Howard Hughes, he had a big, big um, role in Las Vegas. Howard Hughes was a snake. Hmm. Let's talk about the guy who played uh, uh, Robert De Niro, played him in the movie Casino. His name was Mr. Uh, Ratfield, whatever his name was. Um, he had a big role in Vegas, and he was basically the underboss of Vegas for a long time. He was born mm-hmm. in a snake year. 
So you see how this works. People who were born in snake years have done very well in Las Vegas, the snake city. Not wow. to mention, this is my second home. Mm -hmm. You yep. know, and I, and I moved to uh, the state of Florida, which is a snake state. 1845 uh, was founded. So I do well in that energy. So this is how people should be planning their lives, dog. Wow. Based off this energy. Nevada's a rat state. You're a dragon. Good <laughs> shit, bro. You I'm, understand? I'm supposed to be here? You're good here. <laughs> You're good here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when it comes down to it, stuff like that matters. Yeah. I've talked to hella pro athletes. Mm -hmm. Um, There's this one guy who uh, played for the Washington Redskins. Not what are say his name, what, what are other name. dragon? Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a guy who played for the Washington Redskins. Uh, he uh, was born in a horse year. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Every time he played the Giants or the Jets, yeah, on the road, he got injured. Why? Because mm -hmm. New York is a rat state, and he's a horse. Every time he played there, he got injured. So, what places am I not supposed to go? <laughs> and that, that's that's a good question. So, <laughs> what, what you, you're, you're, you're not supposed to be in California. That's Cal why. I, that's why I hate California. California. Dude, I hate California going there. is a dog, and you are a dragon. That's your enemy sign. Wow. So yeah, you should always stay away. You should never drive a Honda. That's a good way for you to get an accident. Because <laughs> Honda, fucking <laughs> dog car, and you're a dragon. Bad energy. A good car for you to drive, you know, is a BMW because that's a dragon car. Mm -hmm. Things like that matter. Or make sure you drive a car that was built in 2020 because that's a rat year because that benefits you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Every little thing like that matters. Like, for instance, when I go house shopping with my wife, oh, my God. The address it's matters? Four, hell yeah, bro. The address <laughs> matters, man. Okay. I'm getting f***ed up out here because yeah. there's always something wrong with the house. Either it's the wrong address or built in the wrong year. God it takes me months to find a house right. because everything has to be perfect <laughs> not only me i got a wife i got kids bro. i gotta make sure their energy matches oh bro this is a headache bro. Bro. okay okay okay, <laughs> okay so what other cities in my states am i not supposed to go to um let's see wait what are you a dragon ba ba basically i think uh the the main dog state is uh california i think that's pretty much okay. all you got to really watch out for there might be some dog cities but Again, I'm not an encyclopedia. I don't remember yeah. everything. You know, you smoke a couple blunts. Not everything's going to be That's processing. Crazy. So but this is so like this is so interesting. I'm I'm like I'm, I'm locked in with this. Let's talk about inside jobs. I saw you had a video about the Titanic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so basically, the Titanic was an inside job. Um, you have to understand in the world of high finance, uh, especially back in a hundred years ago. Uh, there were people that were untouchables. Mm -hmm. One of those untouchables was a guy by the name of Mr. Usher. I might be butchering his name, but that's pretty much how it's pronounced. This guy was such a gangster. He owned 40% of all the mortgages in the United States of America in 1912. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine 40% of all the mortgages in the country is owned by one man, and this one man wasn't associated with the uh, Rothschilds. He wasn't associated with the Rockefellers. Mm -hmm. But he's so powerful, they can't just take him out. So what happened was the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers wanted to basically start a central bank called the Federal Reserve. And uh, Mr. Uster, he's like, F that. I'm not doing that. So he <clears throat> controls 50% of the politicians. He's bribing them. Right. So as long as he's controlling half the politicians, Yahtzee, nothing's going to happen. Hmm. So they decided they're going to build this big ship and all the most famous, richest people in the world are going to go on this ship. And at the last minute, the Morgans, the Rockefellers, or whoever it was in the elite got off that ship. They made sure that the people on that ship who had any real power, like Mr. Uster, died on that ship. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, all the money he was giving to the politicians, bribe money, dried out. Mm -hmm. The politicians go to the other side. All of a sudden, the Federal Reserve gets passed on Jekyll Island in 1913. Once that is passed, World War I starts. Now they got the money. For World War One, so again, Titanic, Federal Reserve, 1913, World War War, uh, 1914. It's all wow. a cycle. Just gotta know what real history is. <laughs> you know, um, that's not what they taught us in school. Nah. No, I even, <laughs> I even heard the boat that sunk wasn't the real Titanic. Well, I, yeah, the Olympia. It was done for insurance. That could be all true, mm -hmm. but the fact of the matter is, it was a hit job. It was a hit job. They were trying to take out Mr. Uster. That's what it basically comes down to. Wow. Mm -hmm. And he, he wasn't even on there. 
No, no, he died. Oh, he died. He died. It was the uh, Rothschilds men that got off. Oh, the boat. okay, okay. And did he have a family, or was that was that it for that? Not sure. What a Not shame. Sure. Even so, if what he, did if the he, boat? He did have a family. Did, what's the matter? Did, what's did, the wife gonna do? Did they sink the boat, or did it explode? Or I that would be speculation on my oh, part. Okay, okay. Uh, you know, I doubt it was an iceberg that hit. It, you oh, know, okay. that that seems like some bull. <laughs> <laughs> you know, listen, I don't believe the uh, U.S. government uh, went to the moon either. I believe that it was a facility 90 miles oh, from here. I don't, tr- I don't trust anything the government says. Mm-hmm. Okay? The government is I a said necessary he didn't, I evil. I said we didn't go on the moon. And they the, 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 prove it. Prove it. Prove they you went on the moon. <laughs> they can't prove anything. All they could do is show you some old footage. I could f- do better footage with the AI right now. <laughs> this is garbage. Literally. You know, how come all the aliens, all the alien footage we always see, there's none in... A high definition. Why is it always garbage? So you, I'm, I'm, you don't I'm, think I'm, you don't think aliens are real? I believe there's fourth dimensional beings. What is I that? believe uh, there's fourth dimensional beings that are in a different um, wave wave and a different vibration that come down here and can snatch people. Sometimes right. I don't believe in reptilians or greys or Pleiadians. That's all garbage. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Alien and the Bible have one thing in common: spelling. Because if you take the word lie, it's in both alien and Bible. The same word is in there. So I want people to understand something. Take the word alien, take the A off the top and the N, and it's spelled a lie. Mm-hmm. I don't believe anything these people say. I think what is much more likely is time travel. Mm. I believe all of these uh, space uh, uh, sightings and these UFOs, and all this other stuff, I think it's m- much more likely that it's people from the future who are traveling back in time. And the UFOs <clears throat> are kind of like the cover story. Mm. And I'll give you the example. What's the number one UFO incident of all time? I think the one in Brazil, right? In 1990s? In America, let's say. Num- oh, okay. Number one in, in America. I know which one you're talking I about. Roswell. Roswell. Yeah. Yeah. Roswell. So what does Roswell start with? Roswell. R. R-O. Yeah. Just like Rothschild. Yeah. Just like Rockefeller. They're right. playing you guys. Mm-hmm. They're playing you guys. Why Why does it say Roswell? Because it has that R-O. Homage to the families. Damn. Even in the uh, BS they make up. Like uh, Neil Armstrong spelled backwards, spelled alien. Get the f*** out of here, man. Come on. Man. L- listen, you have to have common sense. First thing you have to understand is the government lies to you. Second thing you have to understand is how to de- decode stuff. Once you start being able to decode stuff, they can't lie <clears throat> to you anymore. All right. Do you think Nikola Tesla was a time traveler? Yes. I don't think he's a genius. I think he just went back in time. <laughs> I don't, really? Well, uh, one of the keys that someone is a time traveler is they can't have kids. If you don't belong in this timeline, you're not going to have kids. Mm. Tesla didn't have kids. Keanu Reeves had so many kids that died of miscarriage or all this other stuff. I, I, if I was to bet one person f- for sure is a time traveler, I would Reeves. say Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Why Keanu Reeves? Nah, listen, Bill and Ted's. Uh, you know, oh, he's been there. around for so yeah, long. Yeah, and not to mention, look at his. He's born in 1964. Okay? Oh, he doesn't even look like that. Yeah, he's born what about 19, Tom Cruise? Wait, wait, wait. We'll get to Tom. <laughs> he's born in 1964. He looks really good for his age. No doubt about it. But that's not enough proof. What is proof is his wife. His wife is born in 1973. She looks like she's like a zombie because she looks so f- old. I'm thinking this guy's sucking the life out of her mm-hmm. and just to keep himself looking young. Wow. This is what I think. And again, um, Keanu, I love your movies, brother. But, you know, <laughs> you know, when it comes down to it, if there's a number one time traveler, it would be him. Number two would probably be someone in the Trump family. Because there's the ones who uh, went into Tesla's workshop when they were dead for the government started looking at his work. The Trump family was not rich before they stumbled on Nikola Tesla's work. Wow. Facts. Then they became billionaires. Facts. His dad was the one who cleaned up his work, right? Uh, his uncle. Trump's uncle, right? Yes. yes. So I didn't even know they had any like correlation. Yeah, when them. Tesla died. Mm-hmm. And they, someone went in and seized all his It was it the was government. Trump's. And the guy who actually started investigating everything... That was Donald Trump's uncle. What are the odds of that? 
That's crazy. And right? what did Elon Musk call his car to Tesla too? Was that, no, 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 no. He, he bought then... Tesla. The company was already established oh, okay. when he bought it in 2003. He knew exactly what he was doing by buying it, though. Mm. Um, and let's not forget, uh, Tess, uh, Mr. Musk uh, went to uh, get help from a certain individual in 2010. And if a certain person doesn't loan him half a billion dollars, um, Tesla's not here right now. Right. So he owes uh, someone big time favors for his, for his mishap. What numbers scare you? Like, are you scared of 13? I'm scared of hope. Because people are scared of 13 for some reason. Like when you go on an elevator, no, it's that's, not even. No, that's because of the uh, Asian and Chinese, right? They, they don't like they, they don't like number four. Oh, they, don't like they, four. It, it, they believe it's death. Uh, four to me is restriction, so I can understand what they're trying to say. But I'm not scared of any numbers. Like, for instance, um, if, <clears throat> <coughs> excuse me. if it's the fourth, 13th or 31st, and you're a hustler, not the day to be a hustler. Really? That's the fourth number of law and order, so that's a good day to get knocked. So what I'm basically trying to tell you is, say you're doing... Oh, he's saying something illegal. Exactly shit, yeah. illegal. Yeah. You shouldn't be doing stuff on the 4th, 13th, or 31st. Wow. Uh, and, you, and this is something you guys can notice with your own eyes. Right after you're done watching this, always open your eyes on the 4th, 13th, or 31st in the month. And what you're going to see <clears> is a whole bunch of people, cops on the road, pulling people over. And this is when you start realizing numerology real when you start seeing with your own eyes mm -hmm. not when it all oh, gary says it what i say mm -hmm. see with your own eyes and then you'll see what's real so if numerology is real that means we're in a simulation then a video 100 percent a simulation i mean must that is so everything's already predetermined no so there is some control on our end so what variable of simulation are we in good questions let me answer one at a time brother <laughs> um so most people ask how we can have free will if things are predestined. That's that's a you know very intelligent people ask that question, and they come usually come to the conclusion where you can't have both. Well, guess what? You can. The predetermined part, the destiny, is when you're where you're born. And when you die. The time, the place, that's all predetermined. The journey of how you get there. That's the free will, brother. Mm. So that's how you have both. That's how you can have free will. So yeah, when you're going to die is predetermined. Really? I'm 100% certain of that. Even if you change your it lifestyle, change you're your still, health. You're still, it's still predetermined. It, if you're going to change your lifestyle, it's predetermined that you were going to. Whoa. Uh, See how that works? <laughs> See how that works? Yo, that's Catch 22. You might be changing your lifestyle so mm -hmm. that you can die on time. Exactly. Yo. So again... It, 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 that's how it works. So, so, so the, the end game, the end game is predetermined. What you do to get there, that's the free will. That's the beauty of it. That's the journey, guys. I was, I was saying, uh, uh, they were saying like you know when uh, the artist uh, uh, Offset was it Offset or Takeoff, whoever got in Houston, you know one of the Migos. I was saying maybe he was supposed to be right there at that time, at that moment. Maybe it was defined. Uh, very, very possible. Yeah. I mean, um, I can't tell you the number of NBA players called me after Nipsey died. Mm -hmm. you know, Nipsey was a 33, by the way. Wow. And he did he did some pretty real good things in this world. Um, unless I'm mistaken, I, I believe he was a 33. Um, but it, it, let me go back to my generation because I, I'm of the biggie, you know, Tupac yeah. area, stuff like that. And I can bring up the fact that Tupac Shakur, born 1971, in the, born in the year of the pig, died in Vegas. Where Snake is. And Snake and Pig are enemy don't, signs. Don't get along. And by the way, Suge Knight's a snake, too. <laughs> Wasn't supposed to be around Suge. I mean, it didn't work out in the end, did it? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, what's his name? Snoop a pig was smart enough to cut off Suge. Wow. Mm. He knew. He instinctively knew. What are, is dragons and snakes? We're good. We're good. Uh, the only ones you have issues with is dogs, which and you shouldn't be around dogs whatsoever. Probably you probably had some times in your life when you see the animal, the dog, and they're growling at you for no reason and like that. They just don't like you. you so, have I a dog. Should, so I shouldn't have a dog. <laughs> no. Wow. I have a dog too. His name is Yoga. <laughs> when, when when did you get this dog? Uh, probably like three years ago. Mm -hmm. And have you had some financial setbacks in the past three years? Um. I don't know. No, I, w I wouldn't say so. What kind of setbacks have you had in the past three years since you had that dog? Relationship, health, relationships. Money. It's okay. like all kind of little random. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you that dog can love you. You can love that dog. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you what you do. 
Take, and it's going to be hard. And again, I understand the dog's like a member of your family, mm-hmm. but it's not human. Take that dog to the pound for two months and see if your life gets better. Wow. Flat out. That's your enemy sign, Jeez. brother. Sorry, Same bro. way you shouldn't be. And again, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't have no joy in telling yeah, you this, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it is what it is. That energy is negative for you. There's nothing you can do about it. I've, I've had this conversation thousands of times over the past 20 years. That's why I, I, I can say this in such a cocky manner to you, because I know that dog is negative toward you. Even if you love it and it loves you. Sorry to hear that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I love dogs. I'm just like, I feel bad for you. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, man. It is what it is. So what other dragon years are, are there? Like what, uh, 2024, next year. So well, next what, year. You what, should, what about the years back? Uh, 2012, 2000. Every 12 years. Once every 12 years. Oh, right? So every 12 years. So 88, 2000, 2012. Next one's 2024. Okay. And by not, the way, just like Andrew Tate came up in the game in uh, 2022, the year of the Tiger. Mm-hmm. He's born 1986, the year of the Tiger. People like you who are dragons are going to come up next year in a dragon year. That's how it works. Everyone does well in their own energy. We yeah. talked about Jeremy Wynn in the very beginning. Yeah. Is it true you helped the Warriors win a title? I, I did my part. Not a title. The, the titles. Well, I, I th- you could probably say they didn't need me too much in uh, 2022, but the other three, I had I had a role. So you were I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't shoot <clears throat> any jump shots. I didn't win any games, <laughs> okay? But I had something to do with the team being put together. So what... Using numbers, how does that help with putting a team together? Well, basically, if you see that someone's uh, chemistry matches very well with other people's chemistry, you'll be like, yo, you know, why don't you go over there and play over there? What do you think I'm doing here in Vegas? Mm -hmm. NBA Summer League, guys. You know, I love you guys and everything, but I didn't come here (laughs) just for that. It was NBA Summer League. What do you think I'm doing over here, man? I'm over here telling building relationships with the new rookies and stuff like that. So when it comes four or three years from now when it contract time, I'm gonna be like, yo, go over here, go over here. Do you know how many owners I freaking know? I, here, man. I, just don't mention the name out loud. Okay? I'm not. Yeah. Just, just don't, don't, don't mention anything. It'll be very, very simple. Just so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because what you have to understand is, again, people in positions of power, they're all about this. You might not be about this, but they are. Hmm. There's no camera here, right? No. Nah. Don't miss it. Mm. See the name, right? Mm-hmm. Don't say anything. <laughs> See how it doesn't end? Yeah. Wow, Dr. Dre texted you? Come on, stop, man. <laughs> <laughs> stop, man. <laughs> Don't say a word. No. So, uh, so again, um, when it comes down to it, here, here's where I'm, I want people to listen to. It doesn't mm. matter what the f- you do in life. Be the best of the best at it. And yeah. if you're the best of the best at whatever the hell it is you do, what is cleaning up trash, singing. Yeah, but most people oh, are not No, no, listen, but listen, listen, no, no. Numbers. But the whole point is, even if you work hard, no matter what you do, it's going to come out there. The cream always rises to the top. Mm-hmm. Not everyone's meant to be up here, brother. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Right. The people who put in the work are going to get up here. But how do you know if you, what you're meant to be doing if you don't understand the numbers concept? And not to say... Uh-oh. Not to say that everyone's going to or even believe in it, but it, it makes sense. So how do you know if you're really truly doing what you're supposed to do? You're if, right, if, you're if you're right. not like living in your purpose, so to speak. Okay, I, I got that. Right. Um, let me rephrase this this way. Um, how long do you live in Vegas? Mm, probably like 10 years okay. plus. 10 years. Doing better than most people out here? I'm, I'm doing good. Okay, yeah, doing good. good. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, you actually did and accomplished things in your life mm-hmm. that put you in a position where you gained the experience and knowledge necessary to be where you are today, correct? You said I did? I'm asking yes, you. Yes, yes, I did. Okay. I went through the process. You went through the process. Yeah, that's how I made it. If to. you didn't go through the process, would you be here? Probably not. Probably I wouldn't not. Be as it's, knowledgeable. Not, it's not probably. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, wouldn't be knowledgeable be at you all. Be here. Okay. Yeah. So it's the same but thing. But I also put work in on myself. 100%. Though, right. Uh, I went out there and I found what I needed to do. You went out there, found what you needed to do. Mm-hmm. You went out there, found what you stop making excuses for people. Mm-hmm. You know, the knowledge is out there. I've been doing this for 20 years. People yeah. could have found me a long time ago. No, so when fact. it comes when it comes down to it, no excuses. The knowledge is out there. Go find it. Hell, um, when it comes down to the information I released on the Internet, TikTok, IG, all that stuff. Even people who don't give me a penny, even if people don't buy a off me they are going to know more today 
than the top numerologist in the world knew 20 years ago. Wow. That's how much I changed things. I put things out there. Mm -hmm. So no excuses. Info is out there. Now, obviously, if you want the top of the food chain, the best of the best, that's going to cost you a pretty penny. But the fact of the matter is, just to know this stuff, I put it out there a long time ago. For instance, uh, I said 28 is the number of wealth last decade. Okay. Do you mm -hmm. want to, uh, how many people, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Scott. What's that guy's name? Uh, famous singer. Scott this Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. The, the guy who had, uh, I keep forgetting these rappers' names. Um, Travis Scott? Travis Scott. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's releasing his new uh, thing on the 28th. Uh, Why? Because 28th is the number of wealth. Well, I, yeah. I put that information out there so many years ago, mm -hmm. and now you have pretty much every company in the world doing stuff like that because mm -hmm. the, the information has been recycled that many times. So anybody can put – how do you practice – that wealth energy just by doing stuff on the 28th uh, or is there a ritual? Well, I'll give you an example. Yeah. Uh, eight's the number of money, 20 is the number of wealth. So one thing you can do is it, no matter what you're selling, Girl Scout cookies, no matter what you're selling, you can price your products in eights, right? For instance, 170 bucks, 17 is eight, uh, 350 bucks, 35 is eight, uh, 35 cents, 35 is eight. Mm -hmm. As long as you price in eights, it's going to attract more wealth, mm -hmm. more money. And that's wow. why Walmart is now pricing everything in 8.8, where before it used to be 9.9. Wow. Everyone can go to Walmart right now, and 10, 5 years ago, everything was 9.9. Go there now. It's 8.8. That's because of me. So even Damn. 88 cents, yes. 88. But they're, they're, that's, that's, that's how they're doing it. Mm -hmm. I would recommend probably 89, but 88, whatever. Is it true certain people go crazy during a full moon? <laughs> and mostly women, but yeah. Why? Um, because the human body is 70% water. And when the moon is full, it pulls on the tides. People who are humans, you know, 70% of our body is water. So the moon's going to pull on us. And people get very emotional. That's why it's called lunatics. Mm. It happens under a lunar, lunar moon. You know, this is police, FBI. I've known this for a long time. Mm. So basically, if you're a cancer, if you're a water sign like a Pisces, if you're I'm a Pisces. Uh, okay, so again, um, so you're into feet. I am. Yeah, the Pisces love feet, man. Like for instance, there's every woman, uh, based off astrology, has a spot. Okay, Aries. It's over here in the head, mm -hmm. hair. So whenever you see an Aries, you go, "What's that in your hair?" You just stroke their hair. Mm -hmm. Automatically, they're gonna get turned on. Mm -hmm. Pisces, you just gotta give them a foot massage. It'll be open like Seven Eleven. Oh, that, that, okay. that's how you know exactly what I'm talking about now. Yeah. Okay. I, I do like to be rubbed, though. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah. Like, oh, but I know you do. No, don't get any closer to me, though. I do it. But that's how it basically yeah. works out. Yeah. Every sign has a spot. And this is knowledge so that's what about, what, available. What about Virgos and Cancers? Where's their spots at? Uh, cancers right here. That's why cancer women usually don't need a, you know, a chest implants because mm -hmm. they're, they're usually pretty big on their own. Okay. Virgos, uh, their spot is right here in the stomach area. Mm. That's wow. when they like it. Um, Virgo women usually are the first ones that have six packs and stuff like that mm. because that's their spot. Wow. wow. Uh, they also, uh, Virgo men, they, I'm just going to put it out there, man. They pitch <laughs> more than anyone else, man. It's like being with a woman. Really? You know what the sign is, a woman, isn't it? Virgo? Yeah. It's yeah. a woman. One of my best friends in the whole wide world, uh, well, we're not in the whole wide world, but one, one of my best friends is Scorpio. Me and him are super, super close. It's a water sign, just like uh, you. Spicy, yeah. uh, spicy yeah. uh, Scorpios tend to be a little bit more sexual than Pisces, though. They're constantly thinking about not that bag, but that other thing. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? That's, I mean. <laughs> that's how that's how they are, bud. Yeah. What was it like interviewing Joe Rogan's father? Um, are you interviewing his father? Oh yeah. Um, me and Joe aren't friends. Um, <laughs> aren't friends? <laughs> no, no. So uh, I went and to one of Joe's uh, comedies, uh, comedy shows, right in Atlantic City. This was two nineteen. And I, I was with a friend, and I bet him 10K I'd get on stage. And he's like, yeah, right, Rogan's going to let you on stage. So I took 5K, and I threw it on stage. And then Rogan's like, why would you throw 5K? And I knew that would get his attention because no one's ever done the like that. Why would you throw 5K on stage? No one's crazy enough to do anything like that. So afterwards, uh, you know, we started exchanging words. I started heckling him. started talking. Uh, eventually, um, I said I was GG33. He knew exactly what that was. He got me on stage. Uh, he started heckling me. I started throwing money off the <coughs> stage. And, you know, he started saying a lot of, a lot of bull. So I went in his ear when I was on stage. I was like, 
I'm going to get you back, bro. <laughs> I'm going to get you back. I heard that his dad didn't like him. Woo! I, I hooked up with that quick. Went down to New Jersey. Uh, he was from Newark, New Jersey. Yeah. Interviewed his dad. And let me tell you something. His dad was a stand-up guy. I liked his dad a lot better than Joe. Uh, basically, what happened was Joe's mom uh, took him away from Joe, and they moved to California. And she just snatched the kid, and they left. You know, what, what's the guy supposed to do? I think that's kind of frightening that a woman can just take a baby and go halfway across the country, mm-hmm. and the guy has no rights, and, you know, Joe's just talking about his dad. So I was like, let's get Joe's dad's side of the story. And I think he made a pretty uh, good case that, listen, um, he didn't leave you. His mom snatched you from him. What's he going to do? And uh, that's something that most men have to understand. If you don't find the right woman, um, your life could be f***ed up by a vindictive woman. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, women use kids and they use the law to get even with men because they're vindictive like that. <clears throat> That's why you need numerology and astrology. I've been married for 20 years, dog. I'm not worried about no f- shit like that. Because you picked the right one. Exactly, because it was based off numerology and astrology. Let me tell you something. I've been doing this for a long time. The billionaires I have dealt with they all had a woman they could trust. Mm. You can't be the best version of who the f- you're going to be as a man if, you, if you're worried that when you go on a business trip, your woman's going to be seeing someone else off. You know, they, we're not Destiny and Adam 22 here. You know, these guys <laughs> are f-ing all f-ed up in the head, man. Do not be <clears throat> like them. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Could you imagine doing that for clout? <laughs> Is that what he's doing it for? He did it for money, right? He did it for clout, man. Clout? Because... You know, in 2023, I like unfortunately, that, I feel like it's over with the thing. I don't know. If, I don't know if that's just gonna last. Well, no, they just did it for a couple of weeks with the clout. That's the pathetic part. Mm. How are you gonna let someone run into your girl for a couple million views? I'll make a video with you guys and make a couple million views. What the? F- <laughs> they have to pimp out their girl. It's just disgusting ass behavior. And let me tell you something, man. If the influencers you listen to. The reason you listen to them is because they're out there and not they actually have something of substance they're giving out. Mm-hmm. Cut them the f- off, man. Mm. Like people like Logan Paul and, you know, just straight trash. What is these people actually good for? What do they actually teach you? I'm actually going out there. Mm. I'm the only guy out there who doesn't have six million dollar cars, even though I could afford them. I don't have f- 20, 30 f- behind me. I don't look like a f- bodybuilder <clears throat> and I'm still getting half a billion views. Mwah. <laughs> And thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm speechless. We might wrap it up on that note. <laughs> Listen, at the end of the day, we live in a simulation. We live in a simulation. That's how you can give me your birthday. You can give me your birthday and I can read you like a book. And I'll do that to anyone out there. Okay. This is a, uh, a challenge to Jordan Peterson. Flat out. One million bucks escrow. Both of us. That's not big money. You go up to 20 random people. You talk to them for five minutes. I don't need to talk to them. I'll be blindfolded. All I need is their birthday. You talk to them for five minutes. And guess what? Let them decide who's more accurate after we both give them readings. You do it based on psychology. I'll do it based on numerology. See who wins. I got a million bucks that says it's me. No one's ever going to take me up on this offer because cowards. You think Jordan Peterson's a coward? 100%. I like him, though. Okay. I mean, listen, he's a weak-minded guy who was basically on drugs his whole life. Was he on drugs? drugs? Yeah, yeah. Listen, here's the thing. Who hasn't been on drugs, though? Me. I smoke marijuana, but I don't consider that a drug. I don't drink. I haven't drank since John McCain died, and next time I drink is when Joe Biden dies. Right. (laughs) But, I mean, you can't fault somebody for their past, right? And that doesn't mean... Wait wait a second. It depends what their past is. If someone was... You best believe I'm going to fault mean, them for yeah, his past. I mean, in that case. Now, now, but yeah. when someone is in a leadership position, mm-hmm. not the average person in the streets, brother. Right. Average person <clears throat> in the streets, they're not putting their names out there. Right. But when someone is in the position of leadership, mm-hmm. yeah, you best look at their faults. Mm. Because you have to understand, do they deserve to be in that position? So leaders are supposed to be perfect. No. Uh, leaders are supposed to be the type of people who don't make mistakes as much as many other people. Throughout their whole life. Yes, 100%. I don't believe that. Donald I'm, Trump. I'm, I'm, Donald Trump. The best f- ever. Donald Trump f- up many times. A, a lot. A he lot of a, times. I feel like he's still a good stop, leader. Stop, stop, stop. His kids. His kids have not f- up. Not that many. They got some divorces, but they haven't f- up. You can tell someone's a good dad by how their kids turn out. 
mm-hmm. no matter what you say about Donald Trump, he has good kids. That's true. That that right there mm-hmm. matters a lot. I want to see how your kids are. I want to see how you treat your woman mm-hmm. when you're with her. I want to see how you talk to your mother. Mm-hmm. That's what I want to see. And yeah, you better believe I'm not going to look up some mistakes. If I find out someone made certain mistakes, that's it. Wow. Man, that's kind of up, though. You really think so? Yeah, because I mean, people have the ability to grow. So leaders, leaders are leaders because it's based on an experience, experience, and their, and their actual, like mindset to actually lead people. And you can only lead through experience, whether it's you in the past and you're teaching them better ways now. Mm-hmm. When you burn through a lot of money, you're teaching them how to save and accumulate money now. Leaders have experience, so they okay. went through trial and error. Okay. So, 100%. With, with leaders, I don't want a perfect leader. I want a leader that's relatable. Okay, because then I, understand. I, understand I know where saying. he hit the position that he's in. Mm-hmm. It's a, achievable. But when you meet mm-hmm. someone perfect, you probably I, I don't. Sean said it earlier. When someone's perfect, it's weird to you. It's like get away from me. I don't know any perfect individual. Right, but I'm just saying leaders have blemishes. I'm gonna give you an example. Um, second generation money. Mm. if the daddy or mommy makes the money and then they, the, the kid inherits it, mm-hmm. they don't have that hunger usually. No, not at all. Okay, they usually don't have that hunger. And I will question that as are they good leaders because they don't have that hunger. The, now, the, mar- the, the, the parent the, or the second no, generation? The second generation. Okay, yeah. I'll question that. That is a legitimate reason to question somebody. But that's no, through no fault of their own. Right. So see that see the catch twenty two with what you're trying yeah, to say. Yeah, I see so what you're sometimes saying. through no fault of their own, you still have to say, okay, I'm not going there. Like mm. for instance, I didn't take the vaccine. Me neither. Okay, Sean didn't. Did you, okay, yeah, yeah. so let's go there. Mm. I don't care how rich you are. Right. I don't give a fuck what you look like. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck if you have a million dollar body. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck what you think you know. You took the vaccine. That's it. <laughs> I don't want to hear anything. You're disqualified. <laughs> so, yes, I will say what I said, because mm-hmm. if you took the vaccine, I don't think you're a good leader. I can agree with that. OK, I, I can agree. OK, I, yeah, I, I, I can. I can agree <laughs> with that. But see, OK, so even then. Right. I mean, leaders make mistakes. I'm just simply saying that not good ones. Yeah, I, I just I think I feel like <laughs> not all, good ones. all leaders have blemishes and bullet wounds in the past. And I just yeah. like, I didn't follow someone who got vaccinated. I'm not you're going to follow someone. You're going to gonna follow gonna, someone who fell for not. the propaganda. You're going to follow probably someone not. who fell for the psyop when you did it. Probably not. Okay, thank yeah, you. Probably not. Okay. All right, let's wrap up on that note before we get canceled. <laughs> right, right. Any closing comments? Um, this is a virtual reality, guys. And at the end of the day, numerology, astrology, they're the cheat codes. I don't give a what you think about me personally. This is real. And if you're a smart individual, even if you're repulsed by what I say, you're going to look into that because that shows that you have intelligence. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.